stubborn. You have nothing to be grumpy about. Well, thank you. I do have reasons to be worried. Hey, you haven't said a word about us to anyone from work? How about anyone not from work? You really have to chill about this. You work for me. Who cares about what people think? You not seeing this as a problem makes it an even bigger problem. Mm. Sweet Jesus. Those are the ones you like. You have a rosary on the night table. Is it no? It belonged to my grandmother. Sure, whatever. It's a family relic. It's a muffin. Do you think Aaron seems a little off lately? I don't think he ever looked on. I understand why he's feeling so uncomfortable, especially now that we are so close. You know what this whole thing was about. Don't feel sorry for him. His feelings are a little hurt. Who cares? This is bigger than him, bigger than any of us. If we succeed today, I don't think it's going to be okay with the results. When we succeed today, making history is troubling. Talk to Elijah. He'll know what to do about his condition. Faith is not a condition. It's an antivirus. <laughs> All right, okay. I've already heard that speech. Look, talk to Elijah. I already did, right after we moved into the lab. He didn't seem to have any problems with Aaron then. Talk to him again. You might seem to have a problem with him now. Anyway, finish that and go. You kicking me out already? We are not gonna walk in the lab holding hands. One can only dream. <sighs> you wanna run it again? No need. We can do it. I know we can, but it wouldn't make any difference. You don't know that. We've run it five times already. So I'm running to six, and a seventh, and an eighth. I believe it's time to accept the results. Fuck your results! That's out of line, Aaron! Fuck your results, and fuck you all! Heard you the first time, Aaron! I know how you feel! The fuck you do! It makes you think I'm not feeling the same way! You don't have any fucking faith. You just want to destroy everything. That's all you've been after since all this started. You're yeah, right. I don't have any faith. I don't believe in a higher power that supervises so everything. How could you possibly know how I feel? I didn't destroy anything. I wanted answers like you, like everybody here. Some answer you found. The truth hurts. I know. All right, get the fuck away from me. Our names will be next to Copernicus and Galileo. In the history of the world. Fuck away from me! Are you sure you're not going? What makes you think I would lie about that? Beats me. 
Kind of like every other thing that you do. Close to your death every minute. No time for bullshit. Wow. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome, Angelina. Hey, Phil. Is she giving you a hard time? When is she not? Morning, Mom. He keeps insisting I wear a sweater. I'm not cold. How many ways do I have to tell him? He's just trying to do his job. That's all. Annoying. Whatever. Thank you, Phil. What did you bring me? Don't blow it, all right? It was hard enough finding this place. The zoo, you mean? Chocolate. I love chocolate. No. So, how is your video thing going? Still like it? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You are a news reporter. You should have an office job like I did. Better yet, be a pretty face anchor, less exposed. No, thank you. Certainly have the face for it. Look, there are two kinds of people in this world. The ones who like themselves and the ones that don't. You have to decide which one you're gonna be and I strongly recommend the former. What did you bring me today? Uh, chocolates. Great. I love chocolate. I know, Mom. Is it utilities are not included? I'll take it. You haven't even seen the whole place yet. I'll take it. Okay. I'll uh, need to check your credit score. I'll get back to you as soon as I do so. This will cover six months. I'll take the jacket, too. Six months? That's it. Surgery. I sent a team to go and try to find him. He shouldn't be too far. I want to go to. They're already out there. Who do you send? Catherine and Robert. The bunch of pants with butchers. Listen, I can't send the cops now, can I? I know he might can find him first. Yeah, I'm sure you can. I told you he was going to be trouble. You could have done something. Oh, so this is my right. fault. That's what you're saying. That's not what I meant. Look, this isn't easy for any of us. That's why you have to let me go after him. I'm not saying I can predict his moves. But I've been working with you over five years. Got to know him pretty well. Use whatever means necessary. Whatever means necessary, do you understand? He cannot talk. He won't.
God make us. What's the meaning of life? What? The meaning of life, what is it? To love and serve God. To love and serve others. God put us on this earth to care for each other. Then why did he put us here in the first place? Hey, Lance. It's Sanine. I know you can answer your phone right now. I just wanted to let you know that I... I didn't see this coming. I didn't see it. I shoot off, but... I'm gonna find Aaron and make him pay for this. Next time I'd see you... I'd love to walk in the lab holding hands with you. job today. What's wrong? Did you see a ghost? Sorry. Um, I thought that I I saw somebody. You alright? Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that you did a great job today. Murder scene footage? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, you'd already told me that up there, though. Actually, I wanted to tell you that I'm having a dinner party at my place this Saturday. I mean, just a few friends and some other work-related people. Great. Have fun. I want you to come. If you want to, of course. No obligation. I have to go to Village Park. What's Village Park? 
It's a retirement home that uh, my mom's in. On a Saturday night? Yeah. She's not doing well, so I have to go take care of her. Okay, then. You're lost. Thank you, anyway. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Hi. You've reached Aaron Swafford. Can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message. Hey, Aaron. It's the name again. There is only one way to make this right. Come.
No chocolate today? Mom, your sugar level is through the roof. Fuck my sugar level. How is it possible that a number has power over me? A number doesn't have power over you. But your doctor should, though. Well, fuck my doctor, too. Beautiful, Mom. I mean, what's life without its pleasures? Coming from a Presbyterian? Apparently a nightmare. Exactly. And leave the church out of this. I've been trying to for years, but you won't let me. Where's all this bitterness coming from? What's wrong with Jesus all of a sudden? <sighs> Nothing, Mom. It, it was a joke. I go to church when I have time. And apparently, you don't want to. I did my best, you know. I gave you an education. I gave you faith. Where would you be without your ethics? Hey, okay, Mom, I get it. I saw Dad. Where? In front of my building. Just for a split second. Did you talk to him? No. He disappeared. Does he still live in Roslyn? Don't you go and do anything stupid. Like what? Kill him? At least I would have the guts to do it. His life is not yours to take. Are you kidding me? If anybody had the right to take his life, it would be me. Not you, not God, me. I love you, Mom. I won't forget the chocolates tomorrow. Good. Good morning, Mike. Yes, the investigation continues. After this morning's NYPD press conference, the motives behind this vicious murder are still unclear. Father Charles was a pillar in his community and a beloved leader in his congregation. A mass in his honor will take place this Sunday at St. John's. Do you believe in coincidence? What do you mean? I saw my father yesterday, right outside of our building. I haven't seen him in years. And then I guess I met this man on the subway. Met? He made me feel something. What are you talking about? Do you believe that everything happens for a reason? I think that everything happens, period. Then we give it a reason that's relevant for us. I mean, everything's a coincidence. Everything that happens before what you think is a coincidence has led you to that particular moment. If nothing had happened before that had, the coincidence would have never happened either. Therefore, everything's a coincidence. Holy shit. They're just random events that we all make special for ourselves. <laughs> wow, look at little Aristotle right next to me. Self-centered know it all primates. And I said. What? I miss this. Us. Ah. Wish we could do this more often. Let's go back to work. Yeah.
How's Lance? He's still in ICU. I don't want to lie to you, but it's not looking good. Aaron's going to pay for this. I promise. I know. I want him to pay, too. Any place in the your pushers? No. How about you? I think I got something, but it's just not to tell her yet. You got to leave. I'll let you know what it takes me. Call me if there is any change with Lance. Deneen. What? We ran it again. Same results. You did it, my friend. We all did it? No, we followed you. You did this. Get used to being known as the woman who killed God. God killer. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Nobel Prize isn't going to be big enough for you, Dr. Bellman. I'm afraid of the world that it's going to People are not. <sighs> we are not ready to go unsupervised. Anyway. None of this will matter if I can't stop Aaron. One thing at a time, Denise. We don't have to do all at once. I have to go. I'll call you later. Father James. Do you know what the meaning of life is? Do you even have a gun? Your knees, no. How are you gonna kill me? Leah Thompson. Where is she? I don't know where she is. What time does she come to work? She doesn't come into work every day. Where does she live? I don't know where she lives. Somewhere in Brooklyn, I think. Brooklyn is big. I just told you I don't know where she is. Shit. All right, all right. What about her? She's in a home. Where? Let me think. It's Town Park. Brooklyn, too? Village Park. Where is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I just told you. I don't know where it is. Just fucking Google it.
You said that there's no such thing as coincidence, right? That nothing happens for a reason? Well, guess what? What? You remember that guy from the subway? Yeah. I followed him. How did you find him? Check your phone. How about you, Father James? Do you know what the meaning of life is? Christ, how in the name of God did you get this? I know how to find him. How? Do you know? I don't know his name, but I know where he lives. We gotta call the cops. No, not yet. Why not? What do you want to do? I want some airtime tomorrow, and then we can call the cops. You're out of your fucking mind. Is that a yes? Sure, you got it. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Leah. What? There's somebody looking for you. What do you mean somebody's looking for me? A woman. She stopped me in the middle of the street and took me to an alley at gunpoint. Are you okay? She was asking me questions about where you live. She definitely knows where you work. Who is she? I don't know. I, I couldn't see her face. Well, what'd you tell her? Nothing. I don't even know where you live. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. I will. First, it was Father Charles. Last night, Father James. The importance of this footage is not merely journalistic or informative. It goes beyond that. It's an attack on faith itself. Viewer discretion is advised. She's all yours. It's nice out, right? Better out than in those torture chambers they have me in. You don't seem tortured. I met a lawyer once who said that the national sport of America isn't baseball, it's litigation. That's bullshit. It's complaining. Do you live around here? I actually came to talk to you. To me? What business can you possibly have with me? I work with your daughter, Leah. At, at the firm? And then I work. Then I try. Just making sure. Leah actually brings me these chocolates every week. I keep telling her to bring more because they'll never last the week. But she says that's too much chocolate. There's no such a thing as too much chocolate. Exactly. Now she wants to bring me some sugar-free crap. This is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I need to get me some of these. They make them in Brooklyn. Red Hook Treats. It's, uh... It's a, a block from my daughter's apartment. You said you needed to talk to me. What about? Two chocolates. Leah always refuses to tell me where she gets them. Well, now you know. Thank you for sharing that information with me. Sure. Gotta enjoy life while you can, darling. I sure will. Come and visit. You know where to find me. <laughs> oh. 
Hello? USPS. I believe it's time we accept the results. Fuck the results! What we'll makes you think I'm not no. failing this? You don't have any fucking faith. You just want to destroy everything. And a higher power that survives you possibly know I how I feel. I want answers like you, like everybody here. Some answer you found. The truth. doing you do sit down red hook treats hey this is leah thompson i buy chocolates from you pretty much every week my mom loves them hey yes of course leah how can i help you today i won't be able to just stop by could you please send them over to my place sure the usual yes that'll be great awesome when do you think it'll be ready give us like 25 minutes Maybe 30 tops. Cool, thank you so much. Tell Angelina I said hi. I sure will. Thank you, have a good one. You too. You're some sort of crazy atheist, or is this some sort of heathen revenge or something? I'd say everyone is an atheist when it comes to other religions. So you are an atheist? I was a believer. But it turns out, God is irrelevant, and hope is irrelevant. And anybody who tells you anything different is utterly and irredeemably full of shit. But why kill them? Because nothing makes sense. But you're too stupid to understand that. Excuse me? You're not even smart enough to know how stupid you really are. Oh, fuck you! You want me to bash your daddy's brains in, but you can't take a little shit? You're not ready for this. My father fits the profile. He's a pastor. He could be added to your list. What list? Your kill list. Cut the shit out. If you want him dead so bad, why don't you kill him yourself? I don't have the balls. You should definitely not be saying that to someone you're threatening with a knife. I was seven when he... My mother got us out of that house, but he followed us out. I thought that he was gonna kill us. But my mother stabbed him, and he fell on the ground, he was bleeding. But he didn't die. That son of a bitch didn't die. Touching. All right. You either help me, or I turn you to the cops. You know what happens to rats, right? Stop. I said stop. Killing that motherfucker will make no difference to you. It's not gonna change the world or anything. Wrong. The world is always changing. The ones who can't change it think it's always the same. Are you changing it? It's gonna change in ways you cannot possibly imagine. I think you give too much credit to those priests. Don't believe me. I don't care. I'll believe it when I see it. By then it'll be too late. You'll just know. Okay. I get it. You're crazy. I'll do it. What? I'll add him to my list. If we do this, there's no going back. No hesitation, no cold feet, no bullshit. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you right now instead of him. I, I just need to know that he's dead. Kill, kill him first and then you can do whatever you want with me.
Thank you, Phil. Morning. You look like shit. Bags under your eyes. Phil said he saw you on the news. Really? He told me you were talking about a murderer, some guy who's killing priests or something. Yep, that's, that's right. Killing priests. I mean, what is this? The, the Spanish Civil War all over again? This world has really lost its course. I've seen Dad. Yeah, you, you already told me this. Did you? What? How could you? What? Who the fuck do you think you are? You ruined everything! Angelina, you have to calm down. You disgust me! Angelina, Angelina, I told you not to do it, down. not to do it! What kind of stupid cunt are you? Mom! How you doing? You wanna go in? Don't worry, I'm not in a rush. You're not from New York, are you? Why? <laughs> you said you're not in a rush. You got me there. And your accent? Where's that from? I'm a time traveler from the future. Israel. Sure. All right. All right, loud and clear, ma'am. You have a nice day. Are you drunk? Not as much as I should be. You can't stay here. What would make you think that I want to? You should go home. 
And you should show a little fucking empathy for a change. <laughs> Did you know that the chemicals that make up the human body are worth $3,000 in the market? Mm-hmm. That's it. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, all that crap. 3,000 bucks. We're only what we have up here. And she's lost her mind. She is fucking senile. Do you know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. That means that my dear mother's worth only $3,000 fucking midtown rent at best you know memories are what make us they're priceless What are you doing? It's rude to let me drink alone, dickhead. To me. What the hell? <sighs> when was the last time that you had a good fuck? Phone is off. It is? Sorry, I am. Um, I have a lot on my mind. Sorry, Leah. Your mother passed away early this morning. We came in to wake her up for her gym class, and that's when we found her. It was very peaceful. Thank you, Phil. You were always really great to her. <sighs> she, she really deserved it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. Updates, Doc. 
Alright. Thanks. Shit. He's killing his old teacher. Hmm? Some sort of revenge against those who gave him faith. First was Father Charles and then Father James. We need to figure out who's gonna be next. Denise, listen I have a lead. There is this reporter who filmed his second murder. I'm pretty sure she's gonna try to make contact with him or follow him or something. She's key to finding him. I'm in her apartment right now. Denise, listen, I got bad news about Lance. He didn't make it. I'm sorry. We tried everything we could. I'm really, really, really sorry. Thank you for the update. I'll keep you posted if anything comes up. Just be careful out there, okay? I will. Why did you say that hope is irrelevant? Just trying to make conversation. I'm nervous, that's all. So keep it to yourself. They're charlatans, con men. And they deserve to die because of it? It's not about them, it's about the damage they're causing. How is giving hope to people causing damage? Lies cause damage. When you spend your whole life believing something that's then proven to be false, you can either ignore the evidence or you can do something about it. So you decided to do something about it. Look, I can prove with no margin of error that there's no God, no eternity, no logic to our suffering. Nothing makes sense. Is that why you asked him what the meaning of life was? Like some sort of sadistic final touch or something? I'm not enjoying this. It just has to be done. For the greater good. What are you doing? Just keep a lookout, okay? I have them all. Security systems. An alarm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I think that's what we had. I I was seven. I don't really remember. Well, it isn't much. Could have put a little more thought into this plan. I don't have a plan. Wonderful. Remember, no cold feet. And don't push it. If he's in, the alarm's gonna be off. 
Does he live alone? New wife, children? No. Guns? Probably, I think a handgun. Probably upstairs. Probably, probably. Okay. Don't ring the doorbell. What, me? daughter, Leah. It's really you. Oh my God, what are you doing here? Jesus Christ, you're a woman now. How long has it been? Not a good idea. Please don't. I just want to know that you know why this is happening to you. Please, Leah, don't do this. You do know why this is happening, don't you? Everything I did was for you. I did it all for you. Oh, you did? Your mother's got her all wrong. She's got her all wrong. What did she get wrong? She, she thought she saw us. Me. But it wasn't true. Just fucking admit it! Just fucking have the decency to admit it! I swear to God it wasn't true, Lee! I never touched you! <laughs> I never laid a hand on you. I swear. If you never did anything, then why do I still feel you every single night? I love you so much. I love you so much. I still do. My sweet baby girl. What? 
Where do you want me to drop you off? At my place. Address? Ever hear from that woman? The one with the gun? No. Besides, I haven't been home in a couple of days. Where have you stayed? With a friend. A girlfriend. You should call the police. Yeah, I will. All of this has to mean something, right? Life has to mean something. I mean, we, we can't just be born and then work and then die. That's what most people do anyways. Oh, well, my mother saved me. That has to mean something. All my life, I've been driven by this anger and this desire for revenge, and now that I've had it, I, I feel completely empty inside. You lost your purpose, your sense of direction. Yeah, I guess I have. I'm a fucking nomad now. give it ourselves. I'm sorry, Matt. You know, it's all good. We don't choose who we love. Otherwise, we we'll always choose better. Call the police about that woman. I said I will. Just let me worry about you, okay? Okay, but I'm fine. Joe. When you really are, you're not gonna miss any more of my Saturday night dinner parties. Please stay. I have something that someone like you might find interesting. I'm Dr. Danine Bellman. Leah Thompson. But I feel like you already knew that. Are you a woman of faith? No. I don't think so. Good. That's gonna make things much easier. What if I tell you I can prove that God doesn't exist? Sure, but you can. That's where you are wrong. I already have. Scientifically? Yes. Mathematically? Yes. Bullshit. You don't have to believe me. Good, because I don't.
Janine Bellman. You're kind of a big deal. I am. And you served in the military. So there's no God or anything. Again, yes. Okay, yeah, this is stupid. Stupid is not changing your mind when you have evidence that challenges your beliefs. I'm gonna need hard evidence. You want me to bring this to the network? I don't want you to go to the network. Then, then what do you want? I mean, what? Sorry, I really just, I don't have time for this. Aaron was a member of my lab team. He's a man of the cloth, a man of faith. He's a priest. And a very dangerous one. Faith is an antivirus. It's a firewall that protects us and makes us feel good. It tells you exactly what you want to hear. But it can also make you lose your mind. The brain ain't as true as if it was a virus. Some people are immune, others get sick. And people are not ready for the truth. The same way Aaron wasn't. So you want to find Aaron to make him stop spreading the truth? I just don't want anybody else to die. The truth will inevitably come to light. But first, we need to prepare humanity for it. But you know the truth. And if you say that the truth makes everyone insane, then why aren't you crazy? What makes you think I'm not? Stay away from me. I don't have time for stalkers. I wanted to see you. What for? Can I use your bathroom? your father out of the picture? You got it. You wanted a good fuck? You got it. What more do you want from me? My father is dead, and I literally feel no relief at all. You're the only person that I can talk to about this. How is this my problem? Because you're a priest. I was at the park today, and a woman came up to me and said that you worked with her on some sort of experiment or something. Okay, you need to leave now. Why? Because she could have followed you. Well, she didn't. How the fuck do you know? Because she was still on the park bench when I left. And people on park benches can't get up and walk? I don't know. Look, you don't know what's at stake here. I can't take any risks. You need to leave now. My life is literally falling apart, and I can't make much sense out of anything anymore. Well, having a senseless life is ultimately everybody's fate. Why should it be any different for you? Thank God you could be an asshole sometimes. our paths have crossed for a reason. That's why you're just as ignorant as everybody else. No. You've made me feel things that nobody else has before. Us meeting wasn't random. And I know that you feel it too, because if you didn't feel it, then you would have left by now. I think that I'm stuck in your head as much as you're stuck in mine. And that's fucking you up. Love is pointless. It might be, but it's real. Underground. I'm not armed. I said underground now. You gonna shoot me? Try not to. I'm not gonna stop. I know. Oh my god. 
Come on. The world is always changing. It's going to change ways you cannot possibly imagine. Are you changing it? I can prove it. Turns out, no margin of God is irrelevant. God and hope is real. I was a believer. I don't know. Why didn't you go with him? You seem to need more help than he did. What are you doing? I'm calling 911. You need to go to a hospital. I need to fix this mess. What are you looking for? Report a man with a gun. I can't get you out of my fucking head. I can't get you out of my fucking head either. Don't you try to sell me that like it's a good thing. But it is. It's not. It is. gives you a reason to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Go and live your life, Leah. You still might find something to be grateful for. Next one's on you. Thank you. 
You know, that's it. Everything happens for a reason. Look, don't get me started. I don't know. That's what I choose to believe. Even if it's total bullshit, that's what I choose to believe. Fair enough. Now, all you gotta do is find that reason. You're worth giving it a chance, don't you think? I'm sorry I ratted you out. I honestly don't know what I would do if I had a gun pointed at my head. You know you're gonna be chasing ghosts, don't you? Maybe. But I would trade all of my yesterdays for the dream of a better tomorrow. So, are you ready for a dinner party this Saturday? I might be.